Okay, welcome back students. Okay, in this next video, we're going to take it one step further. We've already solved uh, two-step linear equations, and so now we're going to look at how we solve three-step linear equations. Okay, let's have a look at the first question. Here we have y, and the operations are whatever number that is has been multiplied by 2. It's then been, the answer's then been divided by 5, and then 1 was subtracted. So to solve that equation, once again, we undo adding and subtracting. We undo multiplying and dividing. So the first step is to undo subtracting 1, which is adding 1. That cancels out. That leaves just 2y over 5 equals, and 7 plus 1 is 8. Notice that we're now sort of back to, we are back to equations like we solved in the previous video, two-step equations. So if we do this correctly, every time we do a step, we get um, a simpler equation to solve. So here we have to um, either divide by 2 or times by 5. Because I like to get rid of my fractions as soon as I can, I'm going to multiply by 5. Those cancel out, or divide out, I should say. 2y equals 40. Divide both sides by 2. And y equals 20. Okay, let's go ahead and check that and see if it's correct. So 2 times 20 is 40. 40 divide 5 is 8. 8 minus 1 is 7. Yep, it looks like we have done all the steps correctly. Okay, let's have a look at the uh, second example. So here we've got the expression 2x plus 4, all divided by 3, and the final answer is 4. So as we explained in the last video, whenever you've got um, an add or a subtract in the numerator or denominator of an equation, there's implied brackets. So I always, always, always put the brackets in. So in other words, the last thing I'm going to do is undo what's inside the brackets because that's the last step in solving equations. So the first thing I have to do is get rid of the 3. Dividing by 3, the opposite of that is multiply by 3. The 3's cancel out. And once again, I don't need the right to write the brackets now. Um, I only write the brackets if that's um, in a fraction. In this case, there's no fractions, so I can just write it without the brackets. And I get 2x plus 4 is 12. Okay, we're now going to undo the adding by subtracting 4. They cross out, and that leaves me with 2x equals 12 divide 4 is 8. And the last step, the opposite of multiplying by 2 is dividing by 2. They cross out, and 8 divide 2 is 4. Again, we can check this one. 2 times 4 is 8. 8 plus 4 is 12. 12 divide 3 is 4. So that does check. Okay, going on to the next equation, and it's in red because this is quite a tricky one. Let me just give myself a little bit of space to do the answer. There we go. Now this is tricky because, again, we're subtracting the expression that includes the, includes the uh, variable, or the unknown in this case. So that makes it a little bit tricky because I could add that to both sides, but that doesn't really make the equation any simpler. So here's the trick. I'm going to change this to add the opposite. So here's the add. Now the question is, where do I put the negative? Well, I could put the negative in the numerator, but then I'm going to have to bracket all of that because the whole thing has to be negative. And that turns out to still be a little bit tricky. So here's a nice little trick for this question. I'm going to undo all of that. 
I basically have to turn this into, I've got to, if I'm going to add, instead of subtract, I've got to put add a negative. The easiest place to put the negative is on the number in the bottom. So instead of subtracting all of x plus 5 divide 3, I can add x plus 5 divide negative 3. I've changed subtracting to add the opposite. Okay, now what I'm going to do next is say, well, I've got 20 plus um, x plus 5 all over negative 3. I can take away the 20. I can take away 20 from both sides. 20 take 20 goes to 0. So that just gives me x plus 5 over negative 3 equals 10. Now, once again, because there's an addition in the numerator, there's implied brackets. And that means the first step, the next step I have to do is to undo dividing by negative 3. And to undo divide by negative 3, you multiply by negative 3. They cross out. That leaves x plus 5 equals 10 times negative 3 is negative 30 and subtract 5 from both sides. They cross out and it looks like the value of x that makes this equation true is negative 35. Okay, let's do a quick check on that one. Negative 35 plus 5 is negative 30. Negative 30 divide negative 3 is um, 10 and 20 plus 10 is 30. So I actually checked it against my modified equation. It turned out to be easier, so that's quite okay. Okay, try these three on your own, please. So stop the video. Once you've finished, um, check your answers. Okay, welcome back. Well, let's go ahead and solve these. Again, we got three operations. Multiply by 5, divide by 2, subtract 3. So the first step is always to undo, adding and subtracting. That leaves me with 5h over 2 equals 10. I now want to get rid of the fraction, so I multiply by 2. I'll show you another way to set this out, by the way. If I don't want to write the little dot for multiply, then I put brackets around the 5h. If I don't put the brackets, it's going to look like 25h, which is not correct. And I multiply by 2, so I, again, I could do something like that. Probably don't need the brackets there. Cross those out. And I get 5h equals 10 times 2 is 20. Divide both sides by 5. And h equals 4. Okay, let's do a quick check. 5 times 4 is 20. 20 divided by 2 is 10. 10 minus 3 is 7. Yep, so that does check. Okay, looking at this equation here, once again, because I've got an addition in the numerator, the first thing I have to do is put in the implied brackets. So I start by multiplying both sides times 2. They cross out. That leaves 3p plus 1. I don't need to write the brackets because I'm no longer, this is no longer um, in a fraction. 5 times 2 is 10. Subtract 1 from both sides, and that leaves me with 3p equals 9. Divide both sides by 3, and p equals 3. Quick check, 3 times 3 is 9, plus 1 is 10, 10 divide 2 is 5, and that does check. Okay, on to the tricky one. Okay, once again, the difficulty here is we're subtracting an expression containing the unknown. So I'm going to change this into adding the opposite. 
And the best way to make that into its opposite is to put the negative sign on the 4. Now we can go ahead and take away the 12 from both sides. That crosses out. That leaves us with m minus 2 all over neg 4. And 9 subtract 12 is neg 3. Put the brackets in the numerator. Multiply by neg 4. Multiply by neg 4. Those divide out. That leaves m minus 2 equals negative times negative is positive 12. Add 2 to both sides. And m equals 14. Okay, well again, we'll check it against our revised equation because it's a bit easier. 14 minus 2 is 12. 12 divided by negative 4 is negative 3. 12 plus negative 3 is 9. So that does check. Okie doke. So three-step equations with practice aren't that much harder than two-step equations. And we're not going to do it in the videos, but you could use the same idea to solve four-step, five-step equations and so on. Okay, next we're going to move on to looking at some equations that have some additional steps before we start this particular process.